An organ transplant saved my life. But more than 100,000 Americans are waiting for life-saving organ transplants. And the most shocking thing is that this problem is solvable. As a cystic fibrosis patient and a double lung transplant recipient, I will likely need another organ transplant in the future. And I am waiting for my second liver transplant. An organ transplant would save my life. 33 people die every day waiting. People like my grandmother, who died waiting for a kidney. Like my sister, who needed a liver. And like my aunt, who died waiting for a heart. The organ donation crisis disproportionately hurts patients of color. Black, Latinx, and Native American patients are more likely to need a kidney but less likely to get one. And now COVID-19, which causes organ failure, is only making the problem worse. It's not only senseless, it's enormously expensive. Patients with kidney failure often end up on dialysis, which is grueling for them and costs taxpayers $36 billion every year. The problem isn't that Americans aren't generous or don't want to be organ donors. In fact, 90% of Americans support organ donation. That's higher than the percentage of Americans who like puppies, and about the same as the percentage who like ice cream. Americans who want to be organ donors are doing their part. Donors and their families are heroes. But far too often, their goodwill is wasted as many of the organizations hired by the government to deliver organs to those in need are simply not doing their jobs. Organ procurement organizations, OPOs for short, only recover organs from one in five eligible donors. They lose organs in transit. They fail to talk to donor families and they provide worse service to families who look like mine. And government reports show that they waste money on five-star hotels and golf tournaments. What this means for patients like me is that my chance of getting an organ largely depends on where I live in the U.S., which organizations work there, and how well they do their job. My doctors told me to travel to three other states, states where these organizations did a better job in order to get a kidney. So every month or so, I would get in my car and travel somewhere new. Fortunately, Congress started cracking down on this problem. Democrats and Republicans have come together to say patients deserve better. But this is urgent. And right now, failing contractors won't be held accountable until 2026. At the current rate, more than 60,000 people will die before that happens. It just seems silly to wait till 2026 to fix a problem that has a solution. Um, let's do this now. Patients can't wait, so the government shouldn't either. Alonzo is right. That's why we're having a bipartisan hearing on May 4th in Congress to work on solutions. Please join us as we work to ensure that no American is left waiting.